Hello there. My name is Vishwa Saita. I hope you all are doing fine. So let's solve today's problem. Palindrome partition. So the problem says, given a string s, partition s such uh, such that every substring of a partition is palindrome. Return all the possible palindrome of partition of s. Let's first know what is palindrome here. So so in this case, in example, we will take red r. This is a palindrome. Why it is palindrome? Let's see. So we will start from uh, we will start from start point, and we will start also. We will have a pointer at start, and we will have a pointer at end point. So we have to see if this both are equal. Yes, this both are equal. So we have to move forward. We will move. We will, we will start from here, and we will end from here. Now end will be here, and end will be minus minus. So this both are equal. This both are equal, and at last this uh, S and E are the same at, and they both are equal. So this is a palindrome because uh, starting and the ending point are same. So that's why we call this as a palindrome. So in this question, what they told, we have to find every substring. So we have to find every substring that follows a palindrome partition. So just understand this question more clearly. Uh, so I I hope you got it. What is palindrome? So let's see. Or this is what this question says. So what this this question says? We have to have every um, we have to have a substring where everyone follows a palindrome. So first case will be so every each one will have a which each one will follow itself like this only we did here for B D for D we did like every D is following itself also. We can say here each one will follow its own palindrome here. Each one will follow its own palindrome. So that's why first will be first will be a comma a comma b. So each one will follow each uh, he, like starting will be here and ending will be also here. Starting will be here and ending one ending will be also here and starting will be here and ending will be also here. So this each uh, each uh, this is all this is one string. This is another string. This is another string. We have put it everyone into the list. Okay, I hope you get it. So what is the another one here? Let's say we have a comma a and a and then is b. So uh, his starting point is a and ending point is a. So both are same. So this is right. And it b also follows. B is all b is all uh, b is always alone. So it follows its starting point is also here and ending point is also here. So no, so this one also is right. So we have to let's check for another one. A comma B. So does this have starting and ending point the same? So no. So this is wrong. This is wrong. Let's check for another thing. Uh, a uh, A A and B. Is starting point same? No, so this one also will be wrong. So we are getting here two has a solution. This guy, uh, everyone follows their own sub uh, own uh, this one starting and end point. This is palindrome, and here a comma a and next is b. I hope this is the answer here. Yes, this is the answer. I hope you got it. Let's solve this this approach by back backtracking. So let's see this example now. First, first will be a. We will start from a. Second will be a comma a. And third will be a comma a comma b. Now just check. Does a have a his own palindrome? So starting is also here and ending also here. So this follows. So this is right. And here we will check this uh, starting and ending is same. So starting is here and ending is here. So that's it. This also same. This is right. Now here the starting is a, but here ending is b. So this will be no. This will be not valid. So this will not go further. Now let's go. Now let's check for this guy. So after a, we will have another string as a or end a comma b. Let's check. 
thus uh, thus a follows itself also the starting and ending point is same this is also right but here a is uh, starting is a and ending is b so this is not following this will be wrong i hope you got it now for this guy so now uh, at uh, last string is b b is following itself also uh, starting and ending point are same so this is right and we are getting a valid output here a valid uh, wait i will make it green we have a green yeah we have a valid output and let's check for this one uh this is not going forward so we will check for another guy those which have only one b does this follows uh, this right uh, does this has the starting and ending point is same so this is right and we have reach the end of the string so this also follows both this is also end of the string so this for, uh, follows the palindromic partition so this one is also right so we are getting two answers thus we have a uh, a, a comma b we have a, a comma b here and do we have a a and b we have also a a and b so the same thing is following each other so so we have created this one so let's solve this by using a backtracking it's the same example for backtracking so just we have to change small uh, small adjustment here so here they they, have, they wanted output of two uh, like two uh, d list so let's uh, like i've made list here an answer here and i made a temporary and i have i have added s as a string here temporary has a array list the starting point is zero and uh, this is the answer which i have given so now we will start now we will make a back uh, back wrapping so here what i did here i can zoom in zoom in yeah zoom in yes yes we don't need this so we will start from here so we don't want to return anything so first will be string next will be uh, we created a temporary uh, temporary string temporary list here and this will be index and this will be the answer to add the answer so here wh what i told here if the we reach at the end of the string and it is also valid then only we will go and add this new array list into the uh, answer okay i hope you that hope i hope you got it else if that's a not case we have to do for loop for int i equal to index plus 1 we will start from index plus 1 why so we will first start we will we reach here so we have to reach here index plus 1 till uh, till i into the length of the string so if it was this case it will go here and it will go here so it will go 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 down here and it will be ab and this will be invalid so we will make a substring here from index to i so first it will make uh, first we will make this guy and then it will make this guy till it reach to the length of the string so we will check it is a valid or not valid palindrome or not so same thing it is a starting point and this is an ending point uh, this is a length of the string and this is a starting point of the string so why i is less than n so if so we will make this easier i will start this start and this i will do has end mm, and i will make this start and end and this one also start and and here we have to increase the start and we have to decrease the end value okay so we will make a valid point here and we will say if it is a uh, if it is a uh, palindrome or not if it is palindrome then we will go and we will make another substring of this so how we will check here we start you start from zero and n will be uh, n minus one so we will check every every character if they are equal if they are not equal it will return false and if uh, return false and you know start will be uh, start will increase and end will be decreasing so this is here so make it clear ah. so start will be increasing 
start will increase and end will decrease and if it reaches till this and it will return true i hope you get it so here what we will do here and if it is valid then it will go and keep on adding k then it will go again reverse this and at last it will remove the size of this so in this case after reaching at b here after reaching at b it will check if the index is equal to length then if it is true then it will go and keep on adding so don't worry we'll do a dry run for this so let's run it first Plus, plus, okay. So it is getting accepted. Let's submit and see. We will do minus minus. Zoom out. Submit it. It's getting submitted. It's getting submitted. This is done by backtracking. So we will do uh, this one. I have already created everything. I have added here string and everything. We will just run this and I will tell each and each and every line what is going on here. So at first it, it, it got added A. Then, sec then second string was also A and third string was also B. So all three are having all three are following penetrum. So at last it got added to the list then we removed b here and again we removed a here and again we removed a here so it will be now empty string so now we will go and add double a now we will have go and add double a which is following the this one what is it which is following the um palindrome. and then we'll go and add b which is also following penetrum so we'll keep on adding a a and we will add it to the final string here then we removed b here then we removed double a then we return the final answer which is this guy i hope you got it if it is not valid it will not go inside the if it is not valid it will not go inside this loop it will not go inside this backtracking i hope you got it so if you if you have any uh, doubt regarding this uh, uh, this problem do a comment i will help you and if you like this video please do like and subscribe to my channel it will be great help thank you have a nice day keep coding bye